Do you like to play in tournaments? At tournaments, they have prizes usually for the first hand in each category on the card. I go for those prizes. Sometimes I even like winning the prizes instead of placing because sometimes it's really hard to place. There are a lot of really good players at tournaments, but surely I could win a prize. So I like to do an exercise at home that I call Charleston Force. I have a strip for every category on the card. We'll pick three and force hands just for practice. If you have a set at home, you can do this too. If you ever win a prize after practicing like this, let me know. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Addition. Quint. Consecutive run. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 tiles. Multiples, I think that's the strongest. We have three, six, nine, but we have addition, quince, and consecutive run. So I think we should try, since we have no jokers, I don't think quince is going to work. We do have a flower. We potentially could play a, quint, a uh, addition hand. 9312, 931, 9312, or, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. That's pretty bleak. I think maybe consecutive run would be better. Two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Let's try consecutive run. So let's go ahead and pass nine, one, two. We're looking for three, four, five, six. There's a flower and a four. Three, four, five, six. I would not pass two white eight. I would not do that. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, five, four. Let's give up the four. Oh, no. I wonder if we could give up a dot. Three, four, five, six. Let's give up the five, one of each suit. Here's a four and a two. So we have two tiles. Three, four, let's see. Two, three, four, white. Two, three, four, white. Three, four, five, six. There's tiles to pass. Two, three, four, white. Three, four, five, six. Okay, I would like to use these flowers though. Let's see here. What, how could we use the flowers? Four, five, six. Joker bait. Four, five, six with flowers. Let's pass these three. Four. <laughs> three, four. Three, four, five, six. We have tiles we can pass. Look, let's get rid of these. 
five. We have tiles we can pass here. We need another one. Three, four, five, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Let's get rid of the four. Three, four, three, four. There's an east. Okay, we could do four, five, six with white. We could do three, four, five, or four, five, six with flowers. Let's give up these threes. Three east. Four, five, six. Let's give up. Oop, nope, I'm not going to pass like numbers. Four, five, six, or four, five, six. I'd like to use these though. Let's give up the five. Three, four, five, six. Okay, let's let's pass these three. Oh, that's horrible. I would not pass that. We have three that we can pass. Maybe we can recover from the tiles that we gave up. I think there was a green dragon in here. Oh, we got the five back as an option. Okay, three discards, options, three, four, five, four, five, six. If I had to pick a hand, six discards, I'd probably play the, the fifth hand down under consecutive run, leveraging these flowers. Flower, Pung, Pung, or not Pung, this would be Kong, Kong, Kong. Okay, if you would have done something differently for that one, let me know. But I think regardless, we can definitely make a consecutive run work on these tiles. Okay, we're going to now move on to addition and quince. Addition or Quint, we have one joker, one joker. So I think we should try for addition. We do have a flower. We have a pair of nines, nine, three. We don't have any threes or ones or twos. I think we should try for a Quint. Let's try for a Quint. Let's try consecutive Quint with nines or sixes. Let's just hold all the multiples and see what we can get. I would not pass that though. I'd, I'd give something up. So here we have nine, nine, eight, nine, eight. I think I would give up the eight because I would want to use this to help me get to the a quint, let's say. And let's see. So let's go ahead and just stop right there and pass these three. There's a six and a north. Maybe we could play the wind quint right here. Let's keep the nine and the four for joker bait. We have tiles we can pass. There's a one, two. If we had maybe picked the addition hand, but now we have a pung of sixes. And we could even maybe still do a consecutive quint here. Four, five, three, four, five, six. We need three crack, five crack. Okay, regardless, let's give up five, one. Let's go ahead and give up the nine. There's a five. Flower. That could be joker bait. We have tiles we can pass. East. 
green. These are options for the wind quint. One, one, four, five, pass those. Let's pass these three. Got to put that back. Okay, we got a six. Maybe we could even play four, five, six, or consecutive, you know, the, this would be the consecutive quint, third one down. Let's pass that. I think I would rather play the wind quint. So we would have tiles we can pass. We got a pair of east, so now we can give up the north. And we have tiles we can pass. We need to pair up a dragon. We have joker bait. Let's pass these three. Joker bait. Okay, there's hope here. So we could even quint the six. Obviously, we need to pair up the dragons, draw in another east and more jokers for sure. But we came a long way for a quint. And we have joker bait with the flowers and the five dot. I'll leave information below the video that explains how to do joker bait. But I think that was a good attempt right there at a quint. I'd go for it. Would you? Write force two and whether or not you would go for it. Okay, we're gonna make an addition hand work. Let's hope for flowers. <laughs> we got to get rid of all these honors. Winds and dragons, they're not going to help with an addition hand. We're going to make it work. Okay, so we'll give one of these away with every pass. That's how I would handle that. I would not pass them together. Definitely not. So we need 9, 3, 8, 4, or 5, 7. Look, we have 5, 7. Here's a 7. There's a 5 and a 1. Let's keep all those. So let's pass... Let's pass a wind, a dragon, and a six. Let's, oh, either way we're gonna be left with a pair of winds. So let's go ahead and pass these three. So we're focused on seven, five, one, two. There's a flower and a seven. Okay, we have a Kong of West. We need to get rid of that. Let's pass two winds and a nine. Or we can give something up. Let's see. Seven, seven, one, seven, five, one, five. Let's go ahead and break this up. Let's pass these three. There's a one, seven, five, one, and we can pass these three. There's a three, we need a two, seven. Let's keep the seven and pass these three. Five, seven. There's a three south. We can get rid of these three. Five, one, we don't need it. So here we have Two. Let's try to figure out what we could pass. Seven, five, one, two. Seven, five. We don't have a one bam. Seven, five, one crack. We have a multiple here though. If we could get a one bam, that would be nice. Let's give up the five bam. Oh, oh look, we got a two. 
we don't have any twos in here. So let's at this point give up the one crack and do an optional cross. So we have tiles we can pass or give up, but look at this, five discards, but we have no gaps, seven, five, two. We need a one bam. We could even Kong, Kong. We need a flower and we'll be ready or set. So Kong, Kong, we need a flower and then a one bam. I think that was pretty good. Five discards, but we have no gaps. For forcing a hand, I think that worked out pretty well. Those were pretty good results, I think. Some of them might even have been winners. The quint, maybe not. Only one joker. But more times than not, you get a couple jokers in the pick and discard phase of the game. Also, the addition, there was only two flowers in the hand. So definitely we needed more flowers. And flowers are evasive. They evade me. When I need them, I don't get them. So I don't know about that addition. But regardless, it's good practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell. That way you'll get notification when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.